guys welcome back to my channel so today I did this classic red lip um, very easy to do and very quick I hope you guys enjoy and I will see you guys in my next video bye to start off I'm gonna be priming my face with the Smashbox photo finish foundation primer this primer is definitely one of my favorites it minimizes any pores that I have and it makes my makeup last so much longer for foundation, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation in the color Cream Cafe. I am absolutely in love with this foundation. It gives me such a beautiful finish. It is a matte foundation, so if you have normal to oily skin, I would definitely recommend this. I'm going to be using a damp beauty blender to blend in my foundation. If there's one thing that you need in your life, it is definitely the beauty blender. This is a life changer, and I promise you will love it. I'm going to be using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the color Chocolate. I use this all the time and I love it so much. A little goes a long way, so if you're using it, I suggest you use a little at a time. If you would like a tutorial on how I do my eyebrows, just leave a comment in the comments box below and I promise I'll get that done for you guys. To set my eyebrows in place, I'm using the Brow Drama Sculpting Brow Mascara by Maybelline. This will keep your eyebrows in place and prevent it from sticking up and going everywhere. <laughs> Moving on to the eyes, I'm going to be using Max Paint Pot and Soft Ochre as a base. This will prevent your eye shadow from creasing and it will make it last much longer. Picking up the color cream from the Lorac Pro palette and setting it, setting my base with it. This is going to help to blend all the eyeshadows much easier. Now picking up Creme Brulee from Makeup Geek, I'm going to blend that into my crease as a transition shade. shade M2 from the Smashbox Full Exposure Palette and I'm going to blend that right under the creme brulee. Now taking M1, I'm going to deepen the crease. all over the lid. For my brow bone, I'm going to use light bronze from the Lorac Pro palette. And after that, I'm going to do my wing liner and lashes off camera. I'm going to be concealing and highlighting with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color Custard and MAC Prep and Prime in Light Boost. I'm going to highlight under my eyes in a triangular shape as always on my nose, forehead, and chin. I'm going to be blending it all out with my finger. And now 
now I'm taking my beauty blender and further blending out. After all that blending, I'm going to set all the places we highlighted and concealed with the Rimmel Stay Matte Setting Powder. Moving on to contouring, I'm going to be using my Pro Concealer from LA Girl in the color Espresso. I'm going to be contouring right along the cheekbones, a little on my forehead, and my nose. I'm going to keep blending it out with a stippling brush. The key is to keep blending so there are no harsh lines. I'm going to be using the Kat Von D's Shade Light Palette. Shade Light Palette. And I'm going to be using the shade Shadow Play. For blush, I'm going to be using Max Copper Tone. Jacob's mascara to coat my lower lashes. For highlight, I'm using my Cindy Luminizer by The Bomb. For lips, I'm going to use the Milani's Lip Liner in the number 12, which is Bordeaux. And to fill in my lips, I'm going to be using Viva Glam 1 from MAC. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more from me. Until next time everyone, don't forget to stay strong and stay beautiful. Bye!